What's up? This is Squire2448 with a Farm and Simulator 17 video. Today we'll be building a trailer shed for the trailers at the lawn care shop and we'll also be extending and finishing the driveway which we started a few videos ago. So today we'll be using this John Deere skid steer and we'll be using the O3 F350 King Ranch to trailer it over to the shop and we do have a few new equipment over there also. So let's turn on this King Ranch and we'll be making our way over there from our home base and I really do like starting out at the houses in making our way over there and if we do have time today we'll be heading back here and calling it a day over here but we'll be heading over there and I would like to thank you all for the continued support on the daily content you guys really enjoyed part one to this where we removed all of the gravel and built the asphalt driveway so today we'll be building a trailer shed by all of you requesting that and we'll be uh, adding some more asphalt because that's a giant shed and we need to extend the driveway which will be okay but this John Deere is a very large skids here on the larger side of all the ones that we've had but this F350 King Ranch is doing a nice job towing and we are very close also to the lawn care shop which is good so we'll be turning over here and you guys can see that uh, we'll be putting it right over there you guys can see also that we have all of it uh, kind of halfway done so we'll be backing the trailer in since the asphalt did already dry and it is drivable so we'll kind of back in get this unloaded then we'll be starting to use a new John Deere which you guys will be seeing in a modern view later today so we'll back this down here now when you do drive on uh, this it is a building material so it's going to be bumpy it's not going to be the best but it's still very realistic and take a look at that guys we, we brought the skid steer over here we'll be using that second once we kind of remove all of this grass we'll have to remove it I believe right to this window so that's a pretty far distance we have to remove all the gravel and right about to this tree and this tree will be going into the shed just a little bit and we'll have to talk to the tow shop company to remove that since we do not own that tree since it's right on the property line also so we'll turn on this John Deere it's a 6330 very awesome tractor and this is the first time I'm using it in some videos so we'll lower down the back attachment it looks like it was lowered but it was not and it looks like we just kind of got moved away from the building so we'll just kind of stay just a little bit away and we'll just kind of start to remove it you guys can see that it's removing all of the gravel and the dirt we'll just kind of keep doing this for all the passes here but if you guys do have any cool video ideas for me let me know down below in the comments i'm very excited to be doing more and more videos each and every day i'm also excited that we are almost so close to 50,000 subscribers i appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing and i do have a lot of cool videos planned so you guys can see that we do have this attachment in the very front with hydraulic pressure on it hoping to remove all that grass is making it very easy so the goal is once we kind of build the platform I will buy the shed and then we will uh, kind of see where we need to extend the driveway to and then oh, it's going to be good but having a trailer shed will keep the trailers out of the weather which I always like to do So this is the last pass right over here and since we'll be building onto the driveway I'm just going to probably keep this attachment probably very close over here off of this and we'll actually be uh, reattaching it a little bit later on but we'll just disconnect it. It looks like you do have to disconnect the PTO so we'll just do it the automatic way and like I was saying we'll be doing all this driveway right in front of us right over here also. So we'll back up and get attached to the cultivator. And this is a very nice tractor. It's a mid-sized tractor and it does a great job while being pretty compact while also being pretty powerful. So we'll cultivate this, make it nice and smooth. And we actually also are changing up the equipment from the previous uh, part one, but I thought that would be pretty cool. New equipment for all the new videos. So as we do this, you guys can see that this also removes all the tire tracks, which is nice. 
I do like uh, having the tire tracks there for the realism, but sometimes it's always nice to remove them. And with the Street Sweeper mod, you could also remove tire tracks, which is pretty cool if you want the uh, streets to look really nice. So we'll do this one last pass here. We'll spawn in the shop and we'll kind of work on the driveway since that's going to be a pretty big process also. So we'll pull forward here and I will spawn it in. So it's going to go right over here as close as we can to the lawn care building while staying as far as we can from that tree. Alright guys, here it is. It's a very nice shop. It does not have any doors. There is a little bit of grass in the back corner there, but that's actually very close. That's as close as we can, and I actually wanted to get a building where the water wouldn't go right up against the foundation of the shop. So this water goes right off, and uh, very nicely done there. We'll fit the enclosed trailer with the height, and we could even probably move like the GMC dump truck in here. So there will be a lawn care shop organizing video very soon, and we will have to contact the towing shop to see if we could uh, have this tree removed but once that is removed I mean this is going to be one epic shop and you guys can see that this is a pretty nice addition not only can we store uh, the trailers there but there will be a lot of room not only for those but for the trucks so before we start up that John Deere skids here which we will be using to help grade this area we will have to expand the driveway so we'll be moving this right over here and I think right there is good for that attachment. We'll have to remove all this gravel since it's mixed with some grass and a lot of dirt, which isn't good base. But we'll probably kind of, we want this driveway to kind of slope in and be a very nice one. So uh, I will also, for when we do the uh, upgrade video, I will actually remove all that grass and everything like that, making this map even better. So we are just going to go like this, curving it into the driveway. And it looks like, there it goes. It looks like uh, I forgot to activate the allow fields, which is fine. So we'll uh, add this little section. And we are expanding this uh, lawn care company a lot, which is pretty cool. We also have to remove these two trees, which is fine. We'll have to call up the tow shop. So we do have to go a little bit into the asphalt, but that's fine. We'll get a nice clean edge, and that will be perfect. So once we remove all the grass over here, we'll start to remove it in the other section. So like I was saying, guys, we are not only adding this shed, uh, this trailer shed, but we are also continuing on on the process of paving the uh, driveway here for the lawn care company. So I think over here only requires two passes, which is pretty good. And we'll probably have to go to the tractor supply to go get some more uh, asphalt, which they do sell. And not all tractor supplies do sell, but here in Farmson they do. And it, the map does work with the building materials mod. I have been getting a lot of requests and comments about that, so it does work with it. And uh, it's an amazing map, and a lot of you guys really did enjoy it. And I appreciate all of the support on the map. So we do have to lift it right over this concrete section, lower it, uh, raise it back up. Looks like it's getting caught. So the John Deere we are mainly using towards the end of today, but we'll probably be using it momentarily to uh, nicely level out all the uh, asphalt. Move back up, we'll do this little tiny section over here. But like I was saying guys, this was a really highly requested uh, shop to add on to the lawn care shop, which was pretty cool. And I think for now, to kind of keep this out of the way, we won't be parking on it. So we'll just kind of put this right about there. That should be perfect. And we'll just come over here and attach. Awesome. So we got the cultivator attached. And in the previous one, we actually used a brand new roller, which was pretty cool. But we... Uh, are not renting that today. We are renting this amazing John Deere. We'll get this little section right over there and then we'll kind of continue down. We'll kind of finish section by section making it a little bit easier 
but I think that we'll probably go over to the tractor supply and go get us some more asphalt because we'll probably be needing a lot more today than just uh, what we have in that uh, one ton dump truck over there but not too much more uh, compacting left but I really do like how we just have this driveway pretty much turn over here that's a pretty nice fit and a pretty a large section also that we do have to uh, add to so that's going to be it for this tractor next up we'll be turning on the John Deere once we uh, lay down some more asphalt with the dump truck now you guys can see I do the LED lights on this truck it's just amazing to have um, awesome trucks like this we'll turn it on and we'll back up I'm thinking we'll probably start uh, with the curve sections so we'll back up right to the area but this already comes with like a concrete pad which is pretty cool this looks a little too close to the grass but that looks awesome so we'll be starting it right here and we'll just kind of dump as we drive awesome guys so you guys can see we did just do that we'll do one more and I mean I think we probably will have to go get a few more but before we go get another truckload, I would like to hop into John Deere and uh, compact it, level everything out. And I think we'll just kind of leave a little bit of a pile there. We could easily spread it out in other areas. So we'll leave that right there. We'll hop into John Deere skids here. Now we first have to drive over the area just to compact it down before. But you guys can see that there is a lot here. And it looks like we just about are getting stuck but it looks like we got unstuck which is good all right guys we got the skids here unstuck but I mean this is just a challenge to drive with this over here so like I was saying we'll be driving this trying to just compact it out but it is pretty hard to drive with a very large skids here and this doesn't have great ground clearance so it also probably has a factor in us not doing a good job with clearance but we do have to kind of level this area out make it a little bit easier also for the trailers and whoops you have to raise it up just a little for the trailers and for everything just to kind of uh for the lip here so you guys can see that we have a full bucket here so we're just gonna kind of, uh kind of put some over here there will be a lot more so we'll be, we'll be able to fill in this little area but look at this guys the skid steer does a nice job at leveling it out and also it's very uh nice thin coat which is perfect for us and now i think we'll just kind of get this large pile over here we won't be going back to the tractor supply today we'll uh, be going off camera to get more but i'm thinking we'll just kind of do this little patch over here and uh, then we'll probably call it a day and actually i'm thinking since a lot of you guys really do like that I do drive back to the house, we'll be disconnecting that trailer and we'll be heading back over to the house to call it a day. Now, if you guys would like to see a part three to this, uh, let me know down below in the comments. This uh, has been a pretty large project, but we actually did just started a new construction project here on the channel. You guys can check out that playlist. It's building a garage. So we'll just leave the skids here right over here. We'll be turning the truck off and we'll probably bring it right back onto the asphalt. Park it right here. And there is actually a little bit left. So we'll just kind of unload the rest of this. And it looks like we lost the sound of the truck there for a minute. We'll uh, kind of unload the rest of this and then we'll head back. Wow, so take a look at that guys, we just about finished this. I do have to kind of compact it, do a few other things like that. But we'll be heading back in the 03 King Ranch, one of my new favorite older Ford trucks here in the game. I would like to get a few newer trucks, like a 2017 single rear wheel. That would be pretty cool, so I will look into one of those. But we'll pull forward here and we'll make our way back. And I mean, this truck has a nice interior. If you guys do have any cool video ideas for me, let me know down below in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.